Hi, my name is Neff and I help vacation rental owners get more direct bookings on their website. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. Head over to tagmanager.google.com, head over to your workspace. You can see here that I have Cabin Promo selected. After that, head over to Tags and click on New. I've already created a Google Analytics 4 tag, so let me walk you through the process. Give your tag a descriptive name. And for tag configuration, you're going to select this one right here called GA4 configuration. After that, pass in your measurement ID. To find your measurement ID, head over to your analytics. Make sure you have the Google Analytics 4 instance selected right up here. And now head over to admin and then go to data streams. Click on your data stream and copy your measurement ID. Now head back to Google Tag Manager. And what I recommend doing is saving your measurement ID as a variable. To do that, click on this little icon here and go up here in the upper right where you can set up your new variable. Remember to enter a descriptive name and for variable configuration, you're going to select constant under utilities. Select that and then pass in your measurement ID. After you click on save, now you will be able to select your variable when you click on this little icon and then select from this list down here. That'll pass in the variable name with your measurement ID. From here, the next step is to go to triggering and then you want to fire on all pages. Remember to click on save. And next, let's go and preview our changes. So if you go up to preview up here, connect to the website that you want to test. In my case, it already detected cabinpromos.com. So next I'll just hit continue. I'm going to clear the summary, go back to the tab that was created with my website. So you can see that tag assistant was connected successfully. I'm going to refresh the page and now head back to your tag assistant. And you can see that the GA4 base tag was fired successfully. Let's go back to Google Tag Manager. And then from here, submit your changes. Enter a version name and a version description. And finally, click on publish. All right, we're all done here. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through how to send conversions from a powerful chatbot called Typebot over to both versions of Google Analytics.